Francois Hosote, the Vice President of uh, Strategic Projects in Engineering, who's come after two years, you said, right? Yes. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to India. Welcome back to Hyderabad. He was just telling me that uh, he hasn't come back to India in a long time, so I guess Indian summer welcomes you. And I hope you have a nice day. Uh, Mr. Anindya Ghosh, the Managing Director uh, and the Site Head for Ferring Pharma. My department colleagues, Mr. Kulkarni, Mr. Jayesh Ranjan, Mr. Narsimha Reddy, Mr. Harish, Shakti Nagappan, and to all the family of uh, Ferring, the customers, employees, uh, and partners of Ferring Pharma, and also to my friends from the media. A very good morning to all of you. Extremely delighted to be here today at the inauguration of the facility of Ferring Pharmaceuticals in Hyderabad, which is being established with a total investment of approximately 30 million euros and a total direct employment of 110 people. And I believe that this will continue to grow further. We're extremely happy to welcome Ferring which is a Switzerland headquartered global biopharmaceutical group to the vibrant ecosystem of Hyderabad and Genome Valley. While the company has about 12 R&D centers and 13 manufacturing centers across the globe, I have been told that this facility is truly state of the art with unique capabilities in formulation, development, packaging development, and analytical development. I congratulate the entire team of Ferring on this occasion. I've also been informed that this manufacturing facility with integrated research and development operations of Ferring Pharma initially was planned in Maharashtra and was eventually shifted to Hyderabad, which is indeed a testament to the overall ecosystem of life sciences in Telangana and also the pro-business policies of the government of Telangana, which attract and which continue to attract global R&D players to Hyderabad. I'm happy to note that the company, which is a leader in reproductive medicine and maternal health will focus on developing manufacturing urology products based on Ferring's proprietary FDG, the fast dissolving granules platform technology, which will be followed by a range of R&D and manufacturing activities in urology and gastroenterology. I'm also happy to note that the company has been developing treatments for mothers and babies for over 50 years and has a portfolio covering treatments from conception to birth. I would like to congratulate the entire team of Ferring for the fantastic efforts to promote women and reproductive health care. Recently, I've had the pleasure of announcing the entry of Pune-based Bharat Serum Vaccines, which is India's largest uh, women's health care company, in, that very same, in this very same cluster. The company had committed an investment of 200 crores, which is Bharat Serum, in the state-of-the-art injectable and vaccine manufacturing facility that will produce women health products, rabies vaccines, immunoglobulins, hormones, among others. I'm happy that Hyderabad is emerging as a leading destination for women's healthcare research and manufacturing, besides its strong prowess in vaccines, pharmaceuticals, and medical devices. Femtech is a new space that a lot of people are talking about, and I'm delighted that this space is actually shaping up well in Hyderabad. It is a matter of immense pride for me that I was here in this cluster just two weeks ago to inaugurate the facility of uh, Jam Pharma, a Canadian pharmaceutical company. Jam had chosen Hyderabad to establish its first own facility out of, outside of Canada. And now here, again, in a matter of two weeks, we are inaugurating this wonderful facility of Ferring Pharma, adding to the list of marquee global companies here in Genome Valley and in Hyderabad. Indeed, Genome Valley has established itself as a powerhouse of life sciences, not just in India, but globally as well. And the narrative is only growing stronger each and every day. Today, Genome Valley has a unique blend of companies across the value chain of life sciences sector, supported by extraordinary infrastructure, including industrial knowledge parks, multi-tenanted dry and wet laboratories, incubation facilities, utility infrastructure, testing facilities, and other, ingredi other ingredients required in discover, develop, and manufacture policy. This is complemented by the thriving life sciences ecosystem in Hyderabad, which offers necessary linkages such as premier research institutions, highly skilled talent pool, favorable policies, and also consistent efforts of the government to promote life sciences sector globally. Recently, I was also, uh, you know, I also traveled to the United States, had the opportunity to present Genome Valley and explore investment opportunities. I'd like to highlight 
that we were able to secure investment commitments of over 7,500 crores across various sectors. And I'm particularly happy that more than half of this was in life sciences sector. I strongly believe that the next decade belongs to the life sciences and healthcare and the government under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister KCR Garu is committed to promoting this sector and consolidating Hyderabad's leadership position as an important life sciences destination in the world. We are working with a clear goal of doubling life sciences and pharma ecosystem, which is currently valued at 50 billion to about 100 billion by 2030. And I assure you, the government will continue to work with the companies in the life sciences ecosystem to consolidate and strengthen this environment further. I have been saying this uh, in the past and I will say it again. Hyderabad is that place where biology meets technology, where life sciences meets data sciences, because the points of intersection of information technology and biotechnology is what makes for the, for the, for the exciting uh, opportunities that lie in innovation and disruption. And that is where I think Hyderabad really offers a great value proposition for both innovators in, um, in India and also abroad. And with its rich uh, network of scientific institutions, more than 50 strong scientific institutions based out of Hyderabad, and it, with, uh, with, a, with a solid talent pool, like I said, with a solid think force, a lot of opportunities to create intellectual property, a lot of opportunities to create solutions for the rest of the world. So I wish Fering and the entire team of uh, you know, Genome Valley here uh, my very best and the government will continue to support you and consolidate your efforts. Thank you very much. Have a great day.